Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation channel. Today in this session, I'm going to discuss about Selenium Grid concept. And we'll see a brief introduction towards the Selenium Grid concept. And later part, we will see how to configure Selenium Grid. And after that, we'll see a small example using that project. We will configure Selenium Grid in that and we will execute the automation suite where that will execute in a format of grid concept. And please be stay tuned for all the updates in the sessions. So let's get started. Let me open a browser and search for selenium.dev. And this is the official website where you can find the information about the Selenium Grid 4. And this is a website where you generally use to download the jars related to the Selenium, right? So in the same page, once you click on the home page, you can see at the bottom we will find the information about the grid. So click on the read more and this is a page for Selenium Grid 4. And you can see here, there is a question here, want to run tests in parallel across the multiple machines, then grid is for you. So this grid helps us to run the parallel test cases. By using this grid, we will achieve the automation execution in lesser time. So considering we have a thousand test cases and I wanted to run them in a lesser time. So thousand test case execution takes four to five hours. I wanted to execute them in within a 15 to 30 minutes time. So for that approach, we need grid. So Selenium grid allows the execution of web driver scripts on a remote machine that may be virtual or real by routing commands sent by the client to the remote browser instance. It aims to provide the easy way to run tests in parallel on multiple machines. Machines in the sense it, uh, it is a node. So generally when you execute automation, that automation will run on your machine, right? So I don't want to do that. I wanted to execute those execution in a different machines that may be virtual or real. So for virtual, we have a browser stack where you can run the test cases in the browser stack, which is a virtually hosted. And in the real devices where you have a team members who is on a different environment or a platform. So I am on Windows platform. My colleague is on Mac and another colleague is on Ubuntu, one on considering mobile. So I wanted to execute in all of them. So I cannot do it manually. So I need to run them. To run them, we need a grid concept here. And there are some main functionalities of this grid here. You can see there is a central entry point for all test cases. So where we have a standalone server and we have a hub and node concept where all of them will be controlled using that central point, central entry point. And the management and the control of nodes and environments where the browsers run. And the scaling run tests in parallel cross-platform testing and load balancing. So all this, there are main functionalities of grid and we'll get to know one by one when we actually configure grid and execute. So let me go to the get started page. So in the get started page, you can see here there are instructions and where we can follow different approaches. So we'll see one by one. So first line, it says several components compose a Selenium grid depends on your need. You can start each one of them on its own or a few at a time, few at the same time by using the grid role. So we'll see what are those components here. So we'll click on this and you can see here, this is the components of Selenium grid. We have a client, we have a router, session skew, event bus and the session map, distributor and nodes. So this is the final step where there are different nodes. So those nodes are like different machines, virtual machines. So considering one machine is hosting Safari, one machine is hosting Chrome, Opera. So likewise, all browsers are covering here. And what does this routers do? So routers takes care of forwarding the request to the corresponding component. So whenever we get a request, that request goes to the session queue and sessions map. So when you have multiple sessions, that session will be in a queuing. So that then forwarded to the distributor. So distributor aware of all the nodes 
and their capabilities so its main role is to receive the new session request and find the suitable node so once it get the session queue request then it will find the suitable node and it will route there so node is the the machine where our functionality gets executed right and we have a sessions map here so sessions map is a data store that keeps the information of the session id and the node so after assigning the node it will maintain the session id and the node name i mean it serves as a support for the router in process of forwarding a request to the node and the router will ask the session map for the node associated to the session id so this will help you to assign the route node to the session id and you have a event bus so event bus serves as a communication path between the node distributor and new session queue and session map so all this will be done by event bus so you can find the information at the bottom so you can refer to them so let's go back to the configuration part so the get started part so you can see here we have a two approaches one is a standalone approach and actually three approaches one is a standalone approach one we have a hub and nodes concept and then we have a distributed environment concept so we'll see first the standalone approach so standalone is a union of all components so you no need to worry about hub node concept distributors sessions map sessions queue all of them you no need to bother about anything just execute this command so standalone is also an easiest mode to spin up the selenium grid by default the server will be listening to the local host port number 444 and that url we can point in our remote web driver test so we'll quickly see this and before doing this command we need to ensure the java is installed in our machine or not to see that go to run prompt type cmd and check for java version and java version is available and check for java compiler so that our path is correctly mapped in our environment variables or not we need to ensure so if you see this logs then it is correctly configured and later that we need jar file so go to download section and download this latest jar so i already downloaded it so it is in my folder here now how to start so i am in windows machine so we have different approaches in different machines so i am demonstrating on a windows machine so i have this server in my one of the folder i'll go to this path and type for cmd or you can open anywhere command prompt and navigate to this location after that so we have a command so let me go to the game grid page so get started so we have this command so just copy or just type it here java hyphen jar so this is selenium just type standalone i think i missed some spelling so once we type this standalone you can see here detected four available processors and discovered one driver and adding internet explorer for browser name internet explorer so it is hosting only one driver which is a internet explorer so whenever we are executing the automation we can point the browser name to internet explorer so that it will execute by seeing this logs you cannot really ensure that it is spinning up or not to see that just copy this local host and the port number go to the browser and execute the url and you can see this is selenium grid html page where you can find the one driver which is a stereotype which is internet explorer so if you are working on api environment or you wanted to achieve the api concept then you can type this page which is having status which is in json format and you will you can see the similar information what is available in the html page 
so you will see this internet explorer one driver stereotype and this is the id and host id for this now i wanted to get different drivers like chrome firefox edge and all of them so to get that again go to this my location and i have four different drivers here so i will copy and paste in the page and i'm pasting the driver cxe files wherever my selenium server is there now i will go to this page i mean wherever i spinned up my selenium standalone i will close that and again i will open a new command prompt and in the same command prompt i will type for again java hyphen jar and standalone missing this d so now it is starting again so now you can see discovered four drivers we have four different uh, drivers allocated here so one is edge so we have edge of four sessions and internet explorer we have one session and we have firefox four and we have a chrome sessions four times and this is server is started up and running let's me go to my html page and again refresh now you can see there are stereotypes with the chrome 4 firefox 4 and edge 4 and same with this api concept which is the status we can check so it has showing the same information in the format of json right so this is the standalone mode and we have a hub and nodes concept so we'll see all of them in a practical session so first we need to understand how the standalone works so to get started with standalone we need a sample project we'll create in the upcoming session so i hope this intro session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and do share your questions queries in my comment section thank you for watching